welcome to a brand new series called Coaster News of the Month. We'll look at um, news that happened over um, January 2022. Um, considering that it's the off season, it's not a lot of stuff is going to happen. Um, but looking back at this comment from early, like I wrote this comment on my script later earlier on. Uh, there was definitely some more stuff than I actually expected, but let's actually get into the news. On January 1st, um, Viper at Magic Mountain valleyed uh, between the Batwing and the Double Corkscrew, um, and it, I don't, I'm not 100% sure how long it lasted, but um, it did leave some um, passengers stranded. On January 3rd, Sierra Orlando announced um, Icebreaker to open on January 30th for pass holders, and the 18th of February to the general public. Other news, um, Tatsu at Ma Six Flags Magic Mountain closed um, once again in order to complete the unfinished paint job. On January 4th, um, Conneaut Lake Park's Blue Streak caught on fire in a control fire um, being um, the demolition of the coaster, um, causing two volunteers of, of the park to um, quit the next day due to the future of the park. On the 6th of Jan January, Revenge of the Mummy at Universal Studios Florida um, closed to for a lengthy um, renovation um, and also um, Air Force One breaks ground at Fun Spot Atlanta. On the 7th, um, Not Sperry Farm announced um, via Instagram that Montezuma's Revenge will close on the 10th for a lengthy um, refurbishment and will not return to operations till 2023. SeaWorld Orlando purchases some replacement tracks for um, Journey to Atlantis. And finally, Alabama's Adventure and FC and Fun Spot um, Atlanta made a friendly bet for the NCAA um, football championship, and the loser renames one of their coasters of the loser's um, choosing. On the 8th, Ro Roller Coaster Database um, documents two spinning coasters um, opened late um, this year at Trax Family Fun Parks. On the 9th, Kraken reopened at SeaWorld Orlando after its paint job. Um, GCI also arrived at um, California Great Adventure for a retracking of Gold Striker during the offseason. Finally, Knott's um, closes Montezuma's Revenge for 18-month renovation today. Notch re-enters the headlines on the 11th as Montezuma's Revenge is reopened due to backlash for a final day, then it will once again be closed for its 18-month renovation. Other news out of the park is a new Italian restaurant will replace the old Hollywood um, Hits restaurant. On the 13th, Motion Gate in Dubai announces opening dates for John Wick Open Contract in now you see me high roller. It's a sad day for um, Wicked Twister fans as on the 14th, the top tower comes crashing down. The next day, Six Flags Fiesta Texas announced a merch and tentative opening date of June 11th for Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger, as well as um, Dollywood teasing 2023 coaster announcement this summer. It will be a family launched coaster. On the 18th, major changes come to the Six Flags um, chain as Salim um, Basol tries to refocus the parks as memberships have been retired and are only available for those who have had them pre-retirement. Other news is that all passes increase drastically in price and lower um, benefits. It's suggested that Six Flags are heading towards a Cedar Fair model. On the 9th, Major news was leaked, but not confirmed, of Iron Gwazi's grand opening day of March 11th. Other news out of SeaWorld sea Parks, um, as the official POV of Icebreaker is announced. Coming from um, Six Flags um, New England, Goliath is starting to be dismantled. Um, finally, out of Cedar Fair, King's Dominion's Tumbili is topped off. On the 20th, more... SeaWorld news comes out as Iron Gwazi's grand opening date is confirmed and will be taking riders on the 13th of February for pass holders. 
go into where it all started, SeaWorld, um, San Diego's, um, Emperor is finally announced to be open on t the 12th of March, and opens to previews on the 2nd of the same month. On the 20th, Motion Gate opens their two previously mentioned coasters today. At Six Flags New England, Goliath is placed on trucks and shipped away. On January 23rd, the first um, track pieces of Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger were placed. On the 24th of January, Pantheon at Busch Garden Williamsburg was announced to be opened on March 25th um, for the GP and the 4th um, of March for previews. Other news was that King Dominion stated that Avalanche will be renamed to a reptil reptilian or something like that to um, fit the theme of the new area. On January 26th, um, Jenkinson Boardwalk announced Shark Escape Coaster for 2022, a double coaster from FES Visa. Also, four condos were approved for the former land of Conneaut Lake Park. On January 27th, Universal's Epic Universe was tentatively um, set for a 2025 opening date. On January 30th, it was announced that Romeo um, Anonymous Patrol Units will begin patrolling Six Flags Magic Mountain over, and over Texas to increase security in the parks. Um, this was all the news from the month of January. Um, not a lot of news. Um, not a lot of interesting, but not a lot of a lot of news. Just a couple opening dates for SeaWorld Parks. But um, hopefully, once we get into the opening um, part of parks, we'll be getting more news and more coasters. And I will see you guys next month for another episode of this series.